Um, it's a little bit chilly here in Sao Paulo as opposed to Fortaleza where we first started off, but I think I'm enjoying the temperature change. It's a little bit cooler, which um, makes training a little bit better. Not easier, but better. Sao Paulo is great. Um, it's obviously a bit chilly than it was when we we're in Fortaleza, but you know it's it's better to train with, and you know like we're all enjoying it here, so it's it's good. Um, I think it's good. I think we've had a solid amount of time together now, um, now that we've all been in Rio for a little while. Um, and it's just, yeah, ticking down the hours and, and waiting for that first game to come along. The police escorts here are insane. Um, you know, everyone in the hotel, there's flags, there's everything, like heaps of media and all that. So, yeah, it's getting closer and I'm really excited. I feel like there's a lot of sports, all a bit overwhelming, but um, it would be awesome if we could tune into uh, Channel 7 and be able to get all the uh, Aussie commentators, but I think we might be stuck with um, some, Brazil, some Portuguese in the background, but I think we'll be watching a lot of different sports. I think the BMX racing, um, it'd be it's like insane to watch that. But yeah, like any other sport would be pretty cool to watch. Um, I definitely think a podium's in sight for us. Um, I think we went into the World Cup hoping for one as well. And, and I think we did perform pretty well. And to be honest, we've only improved since then. And um, yeah, I think it's not far out of our sight. I think we're, we, we said we're going for gold and I think that we can, we can do it if we knuckle down on the day and you know, bring our A game to every single game, I think we can do it.